let's come back and start the last conversion possible all the combinations i try to do i have converted um, halo alkenes and uh, into alcohols then i've converted cyano compounds to amines nitriles uh, uh, this amines then i converted uh, nitro benzene to aniline like that different different combinations of all the chapters are done so try to please practice it further i'm still telling you you'll be once you have doubt let me know uh, depending upon the time time per listen uh, listen i'll try to uh, answer your queries after this i'll be starting uh, according to your all request i'll be teaching you how to find the log and the anti log in the given numerical i'll try to make it simpler in one video only so once let us learn this conversion and finish it off now what did they give me ethanoic acid to methanamine now they are relating carboxylic acid chapter to amine chapter let us see let us write ethanoic acid is nothing but acetic acid isn't it acetic acid so let us write the formula acetic acid is ch3coh what should i convert into methanamine methanamine means ch3 meth means one carbon amine is nh2 now see what what is difference here uh, there is one carbon uh, means there is acidic group here done now second important thing that carbon also is lost here we don't have isn't it let us see how can i do first as soon as you get the as acetic acid try to induce thionyl chloride why if i introduce thionyl chloride the gaseous vapors will be that means the products would be sulfur dioxide you get hcl and one cl replaces what do i get i am going to get acetyl chloride okay ma'am why did i use this i'll tell you because uh, i need to introduce uh, amine group it's easy for me if i take to substitute this uh, to ammonia how much is this this ammonia would be excess when i use ammonia i already said nh3 it divides or this breaks up into like this nh2 and h right that h comes out as hcl this h comes out as hcl minus hcl now it's easy isn't it now what am i going to get let me uh, see that i am going to take this step here ch3 uh, co nh2 what is the name of this compound this is called two carbons so this is ethanamide ethanamide done now to this ethanamide what is extra now ch3 is still there amine is there i need to take out the co so what am i going to do i said the process of preparing primary amines with one carbon less is nothing but hoffman's bromomide reaction so this is two carbon this is one carbon so comfortably i am going to use a method called hoffman's bromomide reaction hoffman's bromomide reaction comfortably uh, you it will give bromomide reaction it will give a product which has one carbon less so what is the condition you need to use bromine in the presence of koh so automatically one carbon less you get this is primary amine i mean not primary amine no methyl amine one carbon less methyl amine that's it isn't it so methyl amine so the, this is the uh, answer methyl amine now let's see so uh, uh, last one hexane nitrile to one amino pentane let us write hexane nitrile so what do they give me hexane means uh, hexane uh, basically it is an alkene right so when i instead of writing the whole uh, chain you can also write the whole chain it's carbon with six, six six carbons that the last one would be nitrile but instead of that i can also always write c5 h11 cl now ma'am why did you write this c5 plus 1 6 nitrile so hexane nitrile to one amino pentane so again one amino pentane so i am going to write c5 pent h11 uh, uh, pentane they said okay c5 is that uh, amino pentane in h2 i need to convert this to this done let's see now i said whenever you are seeing cyano immediately the very next step the same formula a b c a aniline to bdc bdc to cyano cyano to acetic group this is a sequence isn't it a b c a right now see here what is this compound this is cyano so convert it into after cyano acid only you know how will i convert cyano and acid i am going to do h plus an acidic medium h2 then what will happen to this it will become c5 h11 coh okay done now c5 h11 is carried forward like that only thing is i need to convert 
<coughs> this now see here this is the same procedure in this now here also i've got coh i introduce thionyl chloride then i got ammonia the step is the same so that means to convert your acid group to amine the steps are the common things always so same thing i'm writing here but here you got ch3 here i've got c5h7 now same procedure i'm starting so what is the first thing to this i'm going to introduce thionyl chloride so if you study this this is also easy so you get c5 h11 co cl so2 is out hcl is out done now to this thionyl no excess here i'm going to introduce what am i going to introduce i'm going to introduce ammonia and excess same story here the same thing ammonia and excess when i introduce ammonia and excess what will happen nh2 and h comes out as hcl so this nh2 let's start what do i get c5 okay i think uh, um, h11 co nh2 now compare this and this when i compare this and this here c5 h11 is same but there is one carbon extra what thing i said i should do i have to use which reaction hoffman's bromamide reaction hoffman's bromamide reaction that is bromamide reaction what should i use i need to use bromine in the presence of koh so this particular thing gives me a car uh, i mean which converts or uh, which which will have one carbon less so this is the procedure for all cyano after cyano acid after acid to convert further into amines this is the procedure so let us write the name of this this is one amino pentane so this is these are the maximum combinations which you have so let us come back and meet uh, with log how to find out log so thank you for watching